Well, I can't think of a better way to kick off the show than with this recipe and with this guy. Of course, Jim Hagee, known Thank all you. over these parts for the award-winning catering and restaurant food from Chef's Market. Today, he's yeah. going to share a popular summer dessert that all of his customers are just loving. And I'm loving this beautiful display, too. It's mason jar key lime pie, cute little individual servings. And that make, really makes an impressive display, doesn't it? It does make an impressive mm -hmm. display. We do a lot of catering with the, and people love the little small containers. Yeah. It makes for a great way. And it, uh, this key lime recipe, which is sort of a classic recipe I want to show you, works perfect and you can bake it just right in the jar Great. and key limes are in season right now okay so, so I picked up easy a whole to find in the grocery in store in the grocery store i picked up a bag that was like 2.99 yesterday Good. so, so they're this, affordable too for, yeah for the, uh, two or three months now but we're going to start by making the uh graham cracker crust okay and i'm going to get you to start with that so we've got a cup of that but i want to show you something okay you know we, crushing these things can be a little bit tough right but you just take this a rolling pin smash them and then that, that's how i crush those okay. and it works really really work well. out your aggressions with that work rolling out pin. their aggressions okay. we're going to take uh, a couple of tablespoons of butter and mix that in okay. and then a couple of tablespoons of sugar and then just a pinch a little pinch of salt and then we're going to mix that up. Okay. And so that is going to be the base for the key lime. Now, while you're doing that, we're getting it mixed up. We're going to move it into the cups. But okay. I was going to talk about uh, the key lime. Yeah, the difference between a key lime and a regular lime. Yeah, and this is a Persian lime. This is key lime. Okay. And, you know, of course, this is obviously smaller. It's a little bit more aromatic. It has mm -hmm. a little bit more seeds in it. And it's a little bit tougher to get the juice out of yeah. than this one. But it makes all the difference for a great pot. Now, if we're out of season, a little expensive to get them. You can always use Nellie's and Joe's, which is a great... And that uh, comes subject. from Key West, doesn't it? Comes from mm -hmm. Key West. Yeah. So we've got the uh, graham cracker, and you're just going to kind of split that between the bottom of all these. Now, one of the differences, you know, when you're doing a key lime pie, there you go, that's that perfect. Matter, or is that too much? That's Maybe perfect. Maybe that's a little too much. Maybe, all yeah. Right. And then you're going to tamp it down. You and found the perfect I got a, You know, I, I don't know what that says about me, but I brought a shot glass to tamp it down. But you can find something in the... Uh, uh, Something kitchen that's the dip. right size, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so while Just you're like finishing that. that, I'm going to talk about what to do for the rest of this. Now, we've okay. taken a um, three egg yolks, and I mix those up. And you want to whip them up as much as possible. You might even want to use a mixer, but this works really well. You're going to take uh, a cup of key lime juice. Just that's eight ounces. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, to do that, I'm just going to show you. I found this little gadget. It works really well. And you would do it just like you would a lime. So it's you, a little smaller then. A little smaller. Yeah. And you got that great juice there. They have a lot of juice in them. So, so you're going to mix that together. And then one can, it's a, I think 14 ounces of condensed Eagle Brand milk. You mix that in. And then the thing that really sets it off is to take the zest of lime. This releases the oil. And we're... Just adds a lot of flavor. Adds a lot it? of flavor. And you just mix that up. And then once you get that done, then we're just going to put it into... We'll take Can I give you one? Yeah. We'll take that. I'm going to take this and we're just going to scoop. I'm going to move this over for a moment. And we're going to scoop a little bit in. And then we're going to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. And we'll bake this for 20 minutes. And we're going to put it in a water bath. Okay. Just like this. So you just fill that up like uh -huh. that. So we'll have okay. the four in there. When it comes out, this is exactly what it looks like. Nice. The water keeps it from cracking on top. Okay. But then you'll just take a little bit of whipped cream, garnish it with that. Oh, a little, love it. Put a little lime on top. And, and you could add you a little zest, too, if you wanted to. A little zest, to. too. And you could actually, you know, if you're going to take it on a picnic, just screw that lid on, put it in the cooler, and there you go. That is so great. I think Leland wants to come in and try this, don't you? I do, this yeah. This one looks beautiful. You ready to go? Ooh, I am. That looks super good. Almost too pretty to eat, but I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> I don't think you're going <laughs> to hold off on that. <laughs> got a big bite there. Uh -huh. looks super good. Ooh. Love. Love it, yeah. yeah. I like Thank that. You. Mm. Thanks. It's super easy to make, too, right? It is right? easy to make. I mean, it's uh, like four ingredients to the base of the pie and then and three here, a little bit of whipped cream on top. And, uh, and you know, one of the things, too, if you you still bake it, mm -hmm. but it's only like 20 minutes in a low oven, so it's so darn hot outside. Yeah. This is the perfect refreshing dessert. Guys love it. It's not, you know, it's too, it's not as sweet mm -hmm. as a lot of desserts can be or as heavy as yeah. some desserts can yeah. be. Yeah. So. Uh. It looks great. We've sold them a lot for parties this I summer. bet you have. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. I can't wait to try one. Thanks so much. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to have this recipe online this afternoon, or you can go see Jim over at Chef's Market in Goodlitzville. You love it? I do. I do want more. <laughs> we can make that happen. <laughs>